Come with me and you'll be in a world with pure imagination. Hello, Princess Vilke here. So two aliens come together after their therapy sessions, which they therapied other people. And uh, compare transcripts. So how how was your therapy session? Let me see the transcript. Was it good? Uh, yeah, good. Look at mine. Like, that's how I see poetry. You just write down what happens in your heart, on your soul at the moment. It's not something to be exhibited or exposed to. And I was always wondering, why would anybody want to publish a book about poetry to begin with? But then again, maybe they want to help other people to feel better. And, um, well, of course, if you do, like... If you do Borges, Jorge Luis Borges, it's a completely different subject because you have like a lot of intellectual things going on there which are really understandable by people with amazing intellectual constructs which you can never really share with anybody else but with your pen. Paul, <laughs> my pen, but see what I'm saying? No, he also pulled out one with just like a, a tap on the back, like a friend to friend. Yeah, if I would be younger and I would live my life better, or if I, if I do do it again, something like that. Yeah, very famous. Everybody knows that one. So, when Arturo came, so there was Jesus, Arturo, and another older brother. They all three were like very small, the Betancourt, and they all felt diminished. At the time, I didn't look. Now I can say it's about the daddy left and mom wasn't really supportive. So they all felt like lacking of something. And Arturo was like the retard of the three. I don't know if he was really damaged, but he was some, yeah. And uh, eventually he arrived and he wasn't really part of that. Only Jesus was part of the group, the choir. He came once maybe and I met his brother once because I think I went once to the house. Uh, yeah, his mother's house where they grew up. I don't know, he must have invited me or they must have invited me. I don't know how that went. So I could see his mother. Oh, she wasn't ugly at all. She was also tiny in stature, blonde. I don't know if she was fake blonde, but she looked pretty. Yeah, I can... I She smoked dope and uh, drank. Yeah, it makes sense now that you say... At the time, I wasn't even observing people under that loop. They had an amazingly hard time economically. I believe that, yes. Yeah, terrifying. So, imagine... Okay, so, father left, and they felt traumatized about it. And the older brother had to... He was like the... The guy who would have done like an MBA instead of anything artistic, whereas uh, Jesus sang and Arturo said he wrote poetry. He kind of pushed into the role of such. So Arturo gave me a poem. I th- I barely remember that. But he looked at me with the awe of a child who was like just about to fall in love deeply. So I kind of had to take care of him. I mean, he poured his heart out probably. Was the poetry good? Doesn't matter. It's poetry. It's like a therapy. It doesn't matter. I, I, maybe, I, of course, I read it. I mean, I remember. That doesn't matter. He expressed himself and he also shared it. He expressed himself as one very great thing. And this, the next one, he comes and shares it with me. That's like, wow, that's, like, that's an impressive step for a person who's sensitive. So I must take care of him and just letting him know, please don't go one further. Don't. You, your heart should not crumble more than it already is. <laughs> you can't count on me. So that's why I wrote him a poem back because Mexicans don't understand when you say no. And by that time, I understood that in a relationship. So how else is the same? And besides, I had to honor his efforts. So I honored his efforts by, yeah, by being a bohemian <laughs> and give him something back. I knew it was the right thing to do at the moment. I probably would never have done it with anything else. And he probably has never received from anybody in his entire life and from the whole wide world such an attention. But I think it was clear. How long did it take me to write it? I didn't look at the time. I once, one, one, one afternoon, what does it mean? Half an hour? 20 minutes? 15? 10? I don't think I spent 45 on his poem because I'm inspired and poetry is like you let loose what's going on in your heart, in your soul. It's actually 12 minutes or 15 just to think about the words for a moment. Somewhere I was sitting outdoors. No big deal. Take a piece of paper and... 
yeah, it's something yes inside has to come out. It's not like oh my god, I want to produce something. That's that wasn't it. It was just how can I how can I help him and be you know polite would not be the right word. Kind would not be the right word. See, that's how right that's how poetry exists. What is exactly I want to say? And you think about it again. Yeah, because and then you evaluate. Polite could be taken as you know I don't care, and kind could be taken too close. That that's not it either. So that's how we do it. I never saw him again or heard from him again. That's okay. That's exactly how it should have been. See, this is not okay. So if the group comes together and the other group and you see him, yeah, why not? It's just a child. In my view, it's just a child. With all respect. Treating people with respect and that was due. Yeah, and other guys came and, no, thank you very much. I would never ever dare to write a poem for them because I would have taken it in a completely different direction. Yeah, because he was a little bit of a retard, maybe. I don't know what retard is slow or so. Tell me, please, which way should I go? That depends on where you want to go. I don't even know where I am. 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 I cook cream soup. Tastes cocoa, rocco. Want me or what?